Hey, what's up guys? So you guys asked me to actually upload a video tutorial on how to actually use OBS and I'm using three monitors so I'm going to be recording this from an actual camera rather than recording three screens at once because the resolution would probably be atrocious for some of you guys. But let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be making a basic scene and adding some sources to it. So if you want to stream Call of Duty, Counter-Strike, anything like that, this is basically what you need to do. So first off, uh, you might be wondering what my settings are and I'm going to go ahead and show you that real quick because some of you guys asked for that as well. So so I'm going to stop the little preview monitor. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and go into settings right here. And you could copy these settings if you wish. But keep in mind, you might have a different um, you know, microphone that or might want better um, bit rate. You might want to change your settings. So just keep that in mind as well. So I'm going to go over my settings really quick. And you could uh, pause the video for um, whatever thing that you want to copy. Because you guys asked me for it. So I deliver. So that's my settings over there. So let's go ahead and make a basic scene. Let's throw in a call. Call of Duty, well any basic HDMI um, input and uh, we'll just add like a camera and then we'll add some pictures or something like that. So what you're going to do is once you install OBS, I'll put a link down below in the description box to download it. It's free like I said so it's so much better uh, in that aspect. But first off there's going to be two sections in this. Uh, there's going to be a uh, scene box and there's a sources box. Think of your scene as the stage and your sources are the things that you want to add into your stage. Like think of it in like real life when you're seeing like a play. The scene is the stage. So you have all these different stages over here. So I have one for like Starcraft, I have one for League of Legends. They're all different and you could just reload them so it's much quicker. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create a new one. So once you open up your OBS, you won't have any of these options for scenes because you haven't made them. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on the scene over over here and we're going to go ahead and add scene. This is going to be, we'll just call it new one right here just for uh, you guys to see it. So now we have to add sources. So what we're going to do uh, is we're going to right click over here on sources and we're going to go to add and if you want to capture a game, let's say you're playing a PC game like Counter-Strike, you can go to game capture, you can select Counter-Strike from there. But since we're going to be capturing it from a input device, which is going to be our uh, AverMedia Live Gamer HD, that's the one that I use and I really like it. I haven't had any problems with it. So we're going to call this one Xbox because this is just going to be my Xbox or whatever I'm playing. Uh, and sometimes I'll call it the Wii if I'm trying to capture the Wii or whatever I'm trying to capture. So it's going to show up the device over here on the uh, top over here. And you could, like I said, uh, um, again, you can change all of your settings to better suit you. This is just what I have for this little example right here. We're going to go ahead and click OK. And like I said, you can change all the settings if you want to. And we're going to go ahead and add that to the scene. Now, when we click Preview Stream, we can actually see that Call of Duty is running in the background. And uh, you can see, hold on, let me zoom out just a little bit. And you can see that uh, OBS is now showing this area over here. Now what I can do now is I can actually, um, if I hit stop preview, I can live stream by hit start streaming. But we haven't added everything else yet. So once we click preview stream, you can see the uh, audio levels. Now one thing that's really important is that you want your audio levels to be good for your audience. Or even if you're just recording it for yourself later on, you want to be able to hear yourself. So generally what I try to do is have the volume, when I'm talking, see how this is about max out right here you don't want it to red bar that's something that uh, you know if you watch some of those MLG 420 videos those red bar it's basically the gain is just way too high on some of the audio but anyways you want this to go around maximum so you want this probably at its maximum um, level and you want this at about half depending on again what game you're streaming some games are louder than others and uh, sometimes you need the dialogue in the game so you might want that a little bit higher but adjust those to your settings there's also other tools that can lower it while you're talking but for the most part i think that this is just much better because sometimes those tools can kind of mess up um it, it doesn't detect when um it doesn't detect basically fast enough is what i'm trying to say but now that we have our basic scene we have um our Call of Duty, our Xbox, whatever our source is, we have that added. Let's go ahead and add a live camera. So I have my uh, USB uh, webcam already hooked up, so I'm gonna go ahead and right click, and then I'm going to add another video capture device. And we're gonna go ahead and add, we can name this one Cam One. Some people like to have multiple cameras, some people like to show their uh, hands uh, moving while they're, you know, whether they're doing it on their keyboard or if they're doing it on the controller, some people just like that, or they like to have multiple cameras. Now this device selection, we're gonna go ahead and select the microphone Microsoft Live Cam Studio, that's the webcam that I have. And you definitely want to disable this audio because you don't want the, usually webcams have worse audio than uh, any external microphone, unless you're using like the one that's built into your uh, computer anyways. But we're gonna go ahead and click okay. And then now you'll see this camera over here, which is, uh, 
Well, right now I'm recording with this camera. This is not the camera that uh, is actually my webcam that's hooked up to my computer. So uh, you can't really see my, well actually I can move it down and you guys can see it. See, this is the camera that's actually displaying this over here. So if that makes more sense for you guys. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hit edit scene because we probably don't want to cover up the entire screen with our face. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on edit scene and you can see that there's this, um, red box around it and we can readjust the size so we can make it smaller, we can make it super tiny, super large, whatever you want to do. And you can all do this live, which is what I really love with this program. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and let's say we want it in the bottom left corner. Now some games you want it in the upper left, depending on the game, that's why there's different scenes. It's very awesome for that um, ability to just make different scenes and you can just go, oh, I wanna play a different game, I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. So let's say I want this uh, over in the top right. And then once we're done, we go ahead and hit edit scene. And now when we click, we don't have to worry about that. Now again, you can also also edit the scene, you can move the Xbox, uh, the, uh, the screen of the Xbox, you can make that smaller if you want to add like more games. Uh, so <laughs> there was a time where I was streaming and I was playing multiple games at the same time. Uh, well, actually my friend was. But uh, that's how you add the uh, the cam and the basic HDMI. Or if you're trying to play a game, like if, you had, if I opened up Counter-Strike, I can add Counter-Strike or Guild Wars, whatever game, just go ahead and right click and you're gonna add a game capture and then you're gonna name it whatever, let's say it's CSGO. So you would try to uh, add whatever um, one that you'd want to add, you just go ahead and actually add uh, whatever application you want to add. So that's just a really awesome way to add whatever you need to add. It's just, it's very simple. And if you want to like uh, make them go away for just a moment, let's say I, I need to do something, I want the cam off for the second, I can go ahead and click camera go away and it'll go away. You can also mute the uh, microphone, you can uh, mute the in-game music uh, if you want to, but sometimes um, you will still have it's called white noise, which is basically the sound of your room going. Uh, so keep that in mind as well. Most of the time, people won't really have a concern with that unless you've got really loud uh, noises in the background, then that can get kind of annoying. But that's a basic overview of how to actually use OBS. But uh, one thing that's also something that's very good and what I usually do, let's say I am playing on my Xbox and it's over here. What I usually do is I have my... Um, my screen that uh, that's basically showing a preview of what I'm streaming, I go ahead and actually move it over to my uh, left monitor. So I would add it to my monitor over here. So I, I don't really need to see that, but I'd like to uh, be able to you know change things if I need to change them. And this is my uh, dashboard for my uh, Twitch, which is what I use to actually stream. And um, I like to be able to have this open the entire time. You can also pop out the chat. Usually what you do also want to do is you want to close the preview or just pop out the chat. Whatever works for you is better. Uh, whatever <laughs> uh, works better for you, I should say. And uh, you can go ahead and this way you can uh, play your game on one monitor and you can also be able to uh, read the people's uh, comments and uh, all their uh, suggestions over in the uh, Twitch box. So that just helps you uh, out a little bit more. You can all do this from one monitor. You don't need multiple monitors, but it makes your life so much easier. Uh, otherwise, yeah, it can get kind of annoying to switching out the inputs and outputs and it just makes your life much easier. But yeah, like I said, that's a brief little overview of how to add um, a basic scene. Let's say you want to add images too, I forgot, since uh, I have my my layout over here. You guys always love my Bailey J over here. So let's go ahead and add, let's say we want to add an image. So we're going to name this one Bailey. Let's name it Bailey. And we're going to go ahead and browse for that file. So we're going to go ahead and look for that file that we want. Let's say we want this one. Um, we're going to go ahead and open and it's just going to put it anywhere, it's just gonna throw it out there. And again, you can make this a little bit smaller or larger, wherever you guys want it, you can place it. And then just go ahead and again, hit edit scene and you're ready to go. Now, if you want to stream, you go ahead and click start streaming right here and then it'll actually start streaming and you'll be good to go. And then it'll it'll show you a preview for you, but this is just my uh, layout over here for Call of Duty. It, I just have my, um, my webcam over here, it just makes it much easier. Also, another thing that you should probably keep in mind, if you're not playing with headphones, you might want to mute the, uh, the audio that is actually coming out from your speakers uh, because it can cross over the microphone and can get kind of annoying and they can hear it basically an echo. So yeah, keep that in mind as well. But I hope this gives you guys a brief introduction to OBS, which is a fantastic program. You can record onto your computer, you can live stream and it's awesome that it's free and uh, it's really simple to use. Uh, but I basically covered, I would say the basics of it. There's a lot more stuff that you can do in this, but I figured I'd just give you guys the basic rundown of it because you guys asked me to do it. But anyways, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys over on the live stream. If you guys want to check me out, I uh, Link down below in the description box, it's twitch.tv slash Slaydra. But anyways, I'll see you guys later, HD Gaming, signing out.